Good afternoon folks, it's Jeanette Hill here and I'm speaking to Neil Packham from the Citizens Theatre. Hi Neil. Hello there Jeanette, hello, it's nice to chat to you. Oh, thank you very much for agreeing to do this, I know you're a busy man. Oh. Do you want to start by just telling us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I, I trained as an actor many 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 years ago and i was one of those you know i really did i really wanted to act it was a but uh and i followed that through and i did bits and pieces of acting in the bill and some other other bits and pieces on the on the stage but then and then and then around 1985 i think it was i came on tour to glasgow and I met someone and I met my, met, uh, and then I also fell in love with Glasgow, not just with the girl that I met, but with, but um, mm -hmm. I was just thought Glasgow was an amazing place um, mm -hmm. as, as well as the person that I met. And so <laughs> we, uh, I, maybe it was about four years later, I then came up to Glasgow to live and I didn't really know, I didn't really know how my career was going to work out what was going to happen but it happened to be um 19 it was like 1989 and there was the garden festival but it was also building up to glasgow city of culture oh and yes that was a great opportunity for me to meet loads of people and to st sort of start a new life in glasgow and i thought well there was mayfest was also around at the time which was such a such a wonderful yeah. thing but um yeah glasgow city of culture really sparked something for me and i started to get involved in there was lots of community theater going on at the time i was asked to direct something in in a in a, in a care home in in glasgow and that kind of kicked it all off i then became very sort of interested in this and then started to lead other youth theater groups and then I got this job, um, Gorbel's Community, uh, what was it called? Gorbel's Drama Worker role at the Citizens Theatre. And yeah. I'd always wanted to work at the Citizens Theatre. Um, yeah. And at the drama school that I went to, um, the Citizens Theatre was kind of heralded. I was very, I started out job sharing with somebody. I was absolutely... I was delighted to be working there. It sort of changed my changed my life a bit. I then then I dropped I dropped the acting, and just really embraced my role at the Citizens Theatre, and I've, I've worked there ever since, and in, in a role as community drama director. Yeah, fantastic. And what kind of groups do you run? Run so many groups over the years. Mm -hmm. From one of I have two big sort of my babies the young company which has been running for nearly 20 years um and i, I yeah. set that up the young company which is for 18 to 23 year olds and that's running to this day next year it celebrates its 20th year and also what started off as the community company but then is currently the community collective which is for adults of all ages that have free time on a Friday afternoon and are all passionate about theatre. This is all just people. They don't need to have had any experience. People yeah. come along and we have a good laugh, but we also create kind of really interesting bits of theatre. Some of this has been like on the main stage of the theatre, which is a huge thrill when people get a chance to sort of step onto the main stage, as it is for me to direct something on the main stage of the Citizens Theatre. I'm really sort of proud of these moments. Uh, yes. Direct. Yeah. Right. I've seen one of your, the last one of your, it was amazing. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, what was it called again? That one about? Night, night the, to Remember. The last one that we saw that was written, that was all about um, the health service, well, oh. privatisation of the health service. And that was your, that was your youth theatre one, wasn't it? Oh, it was... yes. Oh, the, yes. That was the Young Company one that we did. Yeah. That was in the tramway because obviously we're currently out of the building because it's of closed course, for yeah. redevelopment. Well, the, the, building, the building's moving on and it's going to be such a fantastic as, asset when oh, it God. reopens. Just to go back, it was a great piece of theatre that was so innovative and, and, and so 
you know, as sat in the audience and we're with other people next to me, or we, we kept going, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh thank so, you very much, Jeanette. I know I was really proud of it. And I think the, the young people did a really good job. We don't, we don't always get cost quite a lot to actually produce something of that yeah. high level because it's got had really high production values. You know, I had a really, I was really pleased with the, as well as all the performances, the set was really good. The lighting was really oh, good. The yeah. sound was really good. And I think that's yeah. something that the, that the Citizens Theatre really kind of prides itself on is making yeah. all its work um, to a high quality, not just its main stage professional work, but throughout all its, all its work, because we, many well when was that 2010 i worked i worked in barlini we had a seven year residency yeah. in um barlini uh prison which was an ex which was an, another extraordinary experience um, and we created we created a railway platform inside the ch the church inside the chapel inside barlini and wow. it had like a railway <laughs> tunnel and it actually looked like a railway platform it was an extraordinary an extraordinary thing and it again it was really well lit had really brilliant sound, it was part of really, really good sound. It was part of a project called Inspiring Change. And yeah. the, the guys that took part in that absolutely loved it. And then we, we, uh, we continued to work there for a few years. Um, well, for, we had seven years in there. We, didn't, we never created anything quite of that scale, but every project we did had, a, well, had integrity behind it. Yeah. And it had, uh, you know, it gave people an opportunity to kind of explore their, explore their creativity in a different, yeah, know, different I know, yeah, yeah. It's so, so important. This stuff is so important. You hear people say, it, you know, if, if I hadn't have done this, so in Neil Morris is one that talks about it. If I hadn't have stepped in and did this, if this teacher hadn't have said this to me, if this community worker hadn't have done this to me, my life would have went on a really different yeah. course. And it, I'm human. Yeah, I'm creative. I'm human. Yeah, absolutely. No, I totally agree. I, I don't. I, I think it does have transformative kind of values. Yes. I'm not saying yeah. everybody comes out and goes, "Oh, my life no. is marvelous now," because obviously, <laughs> with those people inside, in you know, in inside, I mean, yeah. they've still got many other practical things to deal with when they get yeah. out finance and, and work yeah, and all the other things and their health and all that, but we sort of always opened the door at the Citizens right, Theatre. Definitely. And, the, and yeah. the community collective on a Friday afternoon was a place where if guys mm. went, oh, what can I do afterwards? I've really enjoyed this. They could come along okay. on a Friday afternoon and come, al yeah. to come along to the collective, which is a, it's a wide yeah. range of people that come along and they're all hungry to get back into that, get back into that building. And of course, I'm part of your um, off the page, which is another yeah. aspect of your community. You, um, do you want to tell us a little bit yeah, about that? Yeah, off the page, Jeanette. <laughs> it's lovely to have you in off the page. It is you great. You always open up lots of interesting discussion about the plays. But with off the page, we read a play, look at the characters, look at the world around the play, the time that it was set in. It's sort of social. Um, it's social place context. in social yeah, context. context. And and the characters and the you know the issues that are surround it, and in, and hopefully laugh a lot as well. I think there's a lot about well we it started it started many years ago, but the online one which you take part in, because I suppose started yeah. during the pandemic, and it was an opportunity for people to kind of escape the other things that were going on during yeah. the pandemic and talk about something talk about something different. And then, so it runs on a went that runs on a Wednesday morning online, and then in the yeah. afternoon, there's a group that meet. Um, that's been going for fifteen years. There's a group that meet of about twenty people that meet on a Wednesday afternoon. I've learned so much, you know, about different plays that I never would have really thought about reading. I mean, obviously, you started with um, The Grapes of Wrath, which was amazing. Yeah. But then you moved on to Oscar Wilde. Now, as a sort of working class Scottish lassie, I've never been particularly interested. But you really opened up and taught me, oh, yeah. you know, how good he was, how, how amazing it was. Isn't it funny to actually... think of Oscar Wilde as somebody that's kind of, you know, somebody from money and somebody that was, yeah. you know, his plays are... You know, so, don't think of them as yeah. working class plays, 
but actually yeah. or, or political but they were yeah. hugely political they were making yeah. all sorts of statements and particularly about sort of people's sexuality which was yes. you know the censorship around that yeah. time was enormous yeah. and he sort of broke and position of women he was you taught me that how yes. much he, he was he was talking about the position of women as well yeah was, absolutely amazing. yeah it, it was yeah, it was yeah. stuff that really wasn't spoken about at the time but he was sort of bringing yeah. that to the fore and you know challenging the hierarchy thank you very much neil it's been amazing it is amazing what you as a worker at the citizens contribute to the community here in the Gorbals and to Glasgow, oh. and uh, we're happy. We're happy you, we've got you. Oh, well, <laughs> and when the building open, we'll have it back again, obviously. But it's great that we've still got all the community stuff going on. Oh, thanks very much, Jeanette. Work. I really hope that when the new building opens, that it's a total asset to the Gorbals and to Glasgow <laughs> and to the, yeah. you know, and to Scotland, because I think it's going to be, yeah. it, it, you know, the Gorbals is being redeveloped and it feels like the yeah. Citizens Theatre is going to be kind of the icing on the cake. And yeah. when it arrives, you mm. know, and it, um, you know, it's for just for our, our generation, it's for the next generation and hopefully, you know, people will really treasure it and it will... That's wonderful. Thank you very much, Neil. Oh. I really enjoyed talking to you and I'll, I'll see you when Off the Page starts up again. Thank you very <laughs> much, Jeanette. I really appreciate it. I really enjoyed chatting to you.